Has to feel really good to start the weekend off the win. You got a absolutely dominant performance on the mound tonight. You know, you got the, you know, the clutch hits that, you know, you've been wanting. And, and again, a good night from Zion. Just has to feel good to get the weekend off right. Yeah, no doubt. That's a really good team, really good offense. So for Seabass to, you know, go one walk and 11 strikeouts against, like I said, a, a good lineup. They always hit. They're always offensive. Um, we jumped on them early, but they were in the game, you know, and we didn't execute a little bit there in the middle innings, but Seabass was just so good. He kept them at bay, and then we were able to put up a big inning late. You know, he throughout the course of the year, you know, sometimes he hasn't been quite as sharp out the gate, but he always seems to find it, um, you know, throughout the middle innings. But tonight he was sharp early. I think first nine were, you know, up and down, and, um, you know, just sets the tone for the team and, and has to make you guys – you know, feel a little bit comfortable that you're, you know, he's he's at that level right out of the gate. Yeah, we felt like we hadn't gotten his best. He, he'd been good and good enough to win. I mean, literally every start he's had this year, we've had an opportunity to win. And some we've won and some we just, we haven't done enough. Um, but you felt like there was a little more in there. And you said it, I think the first nine, uh, he got into a great rhythm, but then he, he kind of has to bust through the door a little bit and get through that fifth or sixth and for him to give us seven innings tonight yeah it's probably his best start of the year against you know one of the better offenses in college baseball and felt like that was in there that was in the tank and um, you know we gave him the opportunity to speak to the team this week and share his thoughts and his desires uh, for this group and challenge this group and so it's nice that he goes out there and he he holds himself accountable and set the tone. Can you share a little bit about what he shared with the with the team? Uh, just, you know, we, we let older players speak throughout the year, share their experiences, what they've learned, uh, where, where they've come up short, usually earlier in their career, how that wisdom has helped them. And, and so for players to be open and honest about where they're at, he kind of said there's more he wants to do to help this team win, you know. And so when you – when you put it out there in front of your teammates and then you run out there and you back it up, man, it's a, it's a strong statement. And it's just fun because he, he really seems like he's enjoying this. He's having fun. You see him smile all the time. He's competing, but you knew he, he wanted to give more than he had given in the first half of the season. And, and he took that extra step tonight. Also has to feel nice that you're able to have everybody available for the rest of the weekend, um, not having to get into the bullpen at all. No, that, that's a huge luxury, um, you know, on their side as well. You know, they didn't throw one of their three weekend starters, so they'll, they'll, they'll triple them up or double them up here in the next two days. So, you know, their pitching staff is really good. Um, you know, we were able to get into their bullpen tonight, and they kind of staffed it. So uh, great test, great challenge tomorrow, um, but obviously glad we got off to a good start tonight. As you made the lineup out for tonight and you kind of switched some things around and jumped JT back up uh, into the leadoff spot and dropped Zion down a little bit, um, what was the thought process there? And that obviously seemed to really work out for Zion, especially with a with a three for four night. Just a different look. Um, see how Zion looks in the middle of the lineup. Um, let JT maybe lead off. It's something he's been very comfortable doing. And um, so you're just – just trying to keep him fresh, change the look a little bit, um, and, and it worked out. I mean, we've got good hitters, and, and I always tell them all the time, just like I told Gavin, you know, just because you're hitting in the four hole, don't change who you are. Um, you know, Gavin's been up and down the lineup, as you see a lot of hitters have, right? And it's just, just trying to put them in spots where you think, you know, it could work out tonight. And we probably got a little left-handed dominant there you know, at the bottom of the order, and you can tell. And even though Isaac and, and Klein really hit lefties well, McCoy has to get a little bit better in that area. Um, three lefties in a row, you know, seemed like every time they came around, they, they were bringing up uh, one of those left-handed pitchers. So, you know, but again, I, I trust these guys and want to see if they can handle the matchups. And for the most part, they did. And we were able to go to our bench and show our depth and pull some guys off late, which really extend the inning. Lippy's at bat and Alisay's at bat extend the inning and, and allow us to get the 10-run win. You know, as you, you know, look forward in this month, obviously weren't able to play, you know, your midweek this week, but you got a lot of home games. 
a um, lot of good teams in here, but yeah. has to has to be nice to be playing at home and and get it started off with with a win and, and get the confidence boosted boosted back up as you you know as you look forward to you know what is a, a pretty big month for you guys yeah as I said we, we survived that first nine game stretch um, three really good teams two of them on the road um, you know so it was good to survive but you know guys didn't come here to survive right they came here to thrive and that's been the challenge as we hit the second half of the season we're, we're, we're only a third of the way through ACC play so we still got a lot of ACC play left but we're into the second half of the season by, by the number of games, and it's just time for us to take that next step. And um, it's just one game, so we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but it's a step in the right direction. Awesome. Just absolutely dominant stuff tonight. Um, this kind of has to be probably what you had in mind maybe when you chose to come to Louisville in the offseason, just, you know, a big Friday night, ranked opponent, and, uh, you know, just – absolutely you know had to be your a plus stuff basically mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know i knew coming in here they got a they got a good team i mean everybody in the acc has a good team so um coming into games like this you know you know you kind of gotta gotta bring your a game um and so i just had that mentality tonight and uh took it to them did you have a sense of how good your stuff was going to be in a warm-up or do you kind of um you know, wait to kind of see as you start to get through that first couple innings of what your real stuff is in terms of facing hitters. Yeah, you know, I can usually tell how good my stuff is that day, kind of just looking at their swings. Um, it took some pretty ugly swings the first couple innings. Um, and when I saw those swings, you know, I knew that uh, I had my best stuff. Um, so I just, just kept rolling with it. You know, I knew I didn't have to change anything or do anything different as the game went on. So I just kind of stuck with them tonight. As you, you know, sat down 11 guys um you know i think it was 104 pitches and maybe 72 strikes i mean just you know absolutely pounding the zone does does some of that come from you know the pitch mix that you go over with roger um in terms of you know what you feel most comfortable with we've talked a little bit before about how you really like throwing the cutter is that what you were mostly throwing for a fastball tonight again or, or how was that working yeah i think i was I was kind of throwing everything tonight. I think it was a lot of fastball cutter tonight, though. Um, earlier in the week in my midweek bullpen, me and Raj sat down and just kind of uh, went over my Florida State outing. And the main emphasis was putting guys away when I got to 0-2-1-2. So um, I just feel like I did a lot better job of that tonight, um, kind of not letting guys hang around. Um, and I think that's what allowed me to have so much success tonight. Um, you know, I wasn't trying to – I was before hand at Florida State, I think I was trying to do too much. When I got guys uh, 0 2 1 2, and tonight I just, you know, um, realized that I didn't have to do too much. Didn't have to throw the perfect pitch to get guys out. Um, so that was kind of my mentality tonight. So when you're talking about having a, when you're talking about not doing too much, are you talking about like in terms of like spotting a ball or in terms of like what pitch you feel comfortable with in that situation or, or maybe a little of both? Yeah, I feel comfortable with all my pitches, um, all four of them. Um, but it's more of just, when you get it, when you get ahead of a guy, um, you kind of get that feeling of like, man, I want to strike him out really bad. And you might, you know, grip your curveball a little harder, spike it. You know, it's not really a competitive pitch. Um, you might rear back and try to throw your best fastball, and it's nowhere close to the zone. Uh, which I think I was kind of doing a little bit at Florida State. So, um, just trying not to do too much. You know, I was um, trying to make the third strike no different than the first or the second. So, um, yeah, I think that, that's kind of just what I was doing tonight. And you know, when you're coming out and you're being that dominant, and the guys, you know jump on them as well you know with with six runs through the first two innings how much easier does that make the game for you where maybe you can just relax a little more and know like you know one mistake isn't going to kill me or you, you know things like that it, it, is is that kind of put you at ease a little more yeah it, it's uh just a com comfortability thing um especially when they jumped on them uh, on their starter in the first inning um made the second and the rest of the game so much easier um and then even in the, in the later innings too you know when uh I think their leadoff hitter got a runner and got a base hit. Um, and beforehand, my last couple outings, I was worried too much about the running game um, and wasn't really making my pitches. So tonight, I just kind of told myself, like, I think at that point we had a five-run lead or whatever. So I was just telling myself, like, I got a five-run lead. You know, worry about the guy at the plate, not the guy on the bases. So um, that mentality again really helped me tonight. As your pitch count started to climb a little bit there in the you know sixth inning, was there any talk in the dugout about you know? 
them going to the bullpen the seventh and you were you know definitely wanting to stay back out or or was there any talk like that at all yeah we me and Raj had a, it was very brief you know he just kind of asked me if I wanted to go back out and I you know said hell yeah so I ended up going back out to the seventh and doing my thing so and and how good does it feel to to be able to put this win on the board for you guys you know get this you know a lot of home games this month um you know again ranked team and just kind of put this one in the win column and get you guys started off on the right foot here at home. Yeah, obviously it's really big to get the first one. Um, but we had a talk yesterday of, you know, just staying hungry. Um, I think every ACC series, um, we've won one game and ended up losing the other ones. And I think after that one game, you know, I think we get kind of complacent. Um, so I think the kind of theme of this weekend is just staying hungry. You know, we're not going to settle for one win. We can't settle for one win if we're going to be – the team that we want to be so just kind of staying hungry and staying focused and coming out tomorrow with the same intent and mindset that we did tonight um, so we'll see tomorrow and, and coach had had shared that throughout the during this week that you had shared with the team um, some things w would there be anything from from what you had said that that you wouldn't mind sharing with us as well yeah like I just talked about um, I talked yesterday to the team and um, I just talked about like I just said staying hungry um, and I just kind of talked about things from a confidence standpoint, you know. Um, I think sometimes we get caught up in on, on the, other, the team in the other uh, dugout and their, their rank, you know, what guys they got. Um, so I think that it's just important to stay on us. And if we stay on us, uh, we play a lot better baseball. And um, we got to believe that when we come out, regardless of what day it is, we're going to take it to them. Um, again, regardless of who they have, what their ranking is, we're going to come here and we're going to beat up on them. So um, I just kind of tried to get that point across the team yesterday. Um, and it's tonight it's worked so far. So got to keep that same mentality tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you.